Hello and welcome back to another edition of Delectably Different in the Kitchen. Today we're going to be making one of my top two ranked recipes on my blog. It's really special to me because it's actually a recipe I took from my childhood that I made so long ago and revamped it and made it a little healthier. I made it when I was just a wee lad all those years ago. Today we're going making peanut butter banana cake. It's vegan and gluten free. First, we're going to put in a one and a half cups of brown sugar, half cup of coconut oil. Now we're adding in the extracts, one tablespoon of vanilla, one teaspoon of almond extract. Now we're going to put in three, four cups of pumpkin puree. Now we're going to put in our dry ingredients, two and a fourth cups of gluten-free flour. We'll be adding one and a half teaspoons xanthan gum, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt. We're going to add this into the mixture. Mix well. Next, we're going to add in our banana mixture. The banana mixture, which is one and a third cup mashed ripe banana, plus a fourth cup coconut milk, two teaspoons of vinegar. Now we're going to mix in the banana mixture, alternating with the flour. Next, we're going to be taking our prepared mixture and putting it into a prepared 13 by 9 pan. You can grease and flour it, but you're going to want to make sure that you use, obviously, gluten-free flour. I'm just opting to use just greasing method, which still works. Spread it out evenly. And now we're ready to put it in our obviously preheated oven. Once your cake's finished baking, you're gonna wanna take it out and allow it to cool. I like to place mine in the fridge, but if for some reason you don't have room in the fridge, you can place it somewhere away from the oven because with vegan cakes, you wanna let it get as cool as possible so that it can set up as nicely as possible. So again, note, if you can, Make sure you make room in your fridge. How hard is that? 
place it in the fridge, allow it to cool. Normally it takes about an hour before you're gonna wanna put the frosting on. That's another tip. If you feel the bottom of your pan is still even slightly warm, don't even try to frost it. Now that we've got the cake all baked and ready to go, it's time to make the delicious peanut butter frosting. To start out with, we're gonna have one cup of peanut butter, a half a cup of natural non-hydrogenated palm shortening, and one, one and a half cups of powdered sugar. Actually, it's two cups. Two cups of powdered sugar. We're gonna whip this up and put it all together. And there you have it, a vegan, gluten-free peanut butter banana cake straight from my childhood memories. And if you like what you saw, why not click the subscribe button below? We'll see you next time.